let's maybe look at a simpler example. Let's say we have something like x squared plus x over x. Okay, so what could I do? Well, I'm looking at it, and there's a lot of x's. Coefficients are also pretty simple. Coefficients are all 1. 1, 1, 1. Maybe we have a constant term here of 0 if I want to think about it like that, and the same here. But for the non-zero terms, all the coefficients are 1. So what I might think to do is I might think, okay, well, I can factor the top, right? Because the greatest common factor is x. There's an x I can take out of here and an x I can take out of there. And what I can do is I can say, okay, I'm going to cancel. I'm going to divide the top and the bottom by x, and I get x plus 1. However, there is a little issue here. This thing on the left is not exactly the same as the thing on the right. And you might say, well, wait a second, you just did this right in front of me. You divided by x, that's fine. Well, the issue is maybe it's not fine. You see, I'm allowed to divide by x if x is 2 or 3 or 4 or 5 or negative 2, but there's one possibility that might make things go wrong. What happens if x is 0? Notice that this thing on the right is defined for all x. This exists if x is 0. As a matter of fact, it's 1. Very simple number. What about this on the left? This doesn't even exist if x is 0 because it's 0 divided by 0, which is not defined. Can't divide anything by 0, not even 0. So, what do we have? We have two things that are very similar. This is similar to this, but it is not the same as this. So, what do I need to know? Well, if someone were to say simplify this, I could say this is equal to this for all numbers except for 0. But what you might see more likely is something like this. Simplify x squared plus x over x with a constraint. They will tell you that x is not equal to 0. And why will they tell you that? Well, they want you to be able to do the problem. So at the point where you know that x is not 0, now we can divide just by x. And then we see, hey, this is now equal to this because the only case where we would have had an issue is if x was 0, which we now know it's not. Um, let's look at some more examples like this.